This video gives activity ideas to help children to understand and use words using food. It's like a mini language group we might do in clinics and schools. Your child needs to be at the point where they can listen, watch and enjoy the games. It doesn't matter what age they are. If your child finds it hard to listen and focus on other people, they need to play in a different way. Watch our early language tips videos and try these. Hi, my name's Caroline. I'm one of the speech and language therapists at Barnsley. Um, and I'm here with my lovely assistant, Ollie. Hello. To demonstrate some of the activities that we do when we're working with children. So obviously Ollie's a bit older than the children, the age of the children we'd usually be carrying these activities with, but he's gonna demonstrate for us today. So, Ollie, let's have a look. What are we doing today? So first, we're gonna make sure we're doing good sitting for our hello song. Stick that on there. Fantastic. Next, we're going to do a song about um, the topic that's linked to the topic that we're doing today. So if you stick our song picture on. Brilliant. So the first thing we're doing is our good sitting for our hello song. So are you ready, Ollie? Yeah. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. We're glad you came to play. Right, we can sing to me. Hello, hello Caroline. Hello, Caroline. Hello, Caroline. We're glad you came to play. Right, because we finished our good sitting and our song. You can pull that one off behind us. Brilliant. Now today's topic, today's things that we're looking at is food. So we have got a song about some food to eat and our song is five cherry buns. So here are our cherry buns. You can see the cherry on top. Put them right, are we ready for our song? Five cherry buns. Here we go. Five cherry buns in a baker's shop. Warm and round with a cherry on the top. Along came Ollie with a penny one day. Bought a cherry bun and took it away. <laughs> right, let's do one for me. How many now? Not five. How many? cherry buns. Right, let's carry on singing. Four cherry buns in a baker's shop, warm and round with a cherry on the top. Along came Caroline with a penny one day, bought a cherry bun and took it away. Fantastic. Now if you're doing this with your children, you could carry on singing with the buns or if there are more of you, more children, or granny, or anyone else, dad, that's also doing it, they can have a turn as well. We've finished our song. You can take it off and put it over there. The song's finished. What's next? It's our listening game. So for our listening game, we need our food and a basket. And if you're doing this at home and you haven't got any toy food, it's fine, you can get some pictures, you can cut them out from a magazine, you could print them out, you could draw them, get your children to draw them, just a different range of foods. So for this one, this is just a listening game. So the child isn't gonna do any talking, they're just going to listen. So if we take our food out, okay, lots of different food here, and I'm gonna ask you to put something into the basket. So please, can you put the potato into the basket? Brilliant, potato in the basket. Oh, please, could you put the pear into the basket? Brilliant, the pear's in the basket. Now for some children, that might be quite a lot to choose from if they're much younger, you know, if they're kind of age two, that could be too much for them to select from. So you could give a choice. So we could, let's start with these two. Hmm, please could you put the orange? 
orange into the basket. So you've got the watermelon. Watermelon in the basket? Do you need a watermelon? Watermelon in the basket. And the orange in the basket. So you can see there, Ollie chose the wrong one. So I told him that the one he chosen was the watermelon. And then I taught him the word orange by showing him it again so that he could see this was the orange orange in the basket. Right, which one should we do now? Oh, please could you put the sweet corn in the basket? Brilliant! All the food is in the basket. Thank you, Ollie. Let's put our basket there and we've finished our listening game. Put those over there. What's next? It's our talking game. So for our talking game, we need our teddy because we're going to give him some food and we need our food. So Ollie, hmm, what would you like to give to the teddy? What are you going to give him? What food? What's this one? Orange. Orange for teddy. He's going to eat it. Teddy eating. Eating orange. What should we give next? What should we give him next? What are you going to choose? What's that one? What have you chosen? Egg. Egg. Egg for Teddy, the egg. Teddy eating egg. <laughs> Going to give him. What is it? Watermelon. Watermelon. You want to give Teddy watermelon. Watermelon for Teddy. So you can see there. I didn't correct him. I didn't say no. This is a pear. It's not a watermelon. I got the one he chose, um, and we gave that to the Teddy instead. I think Teddy's full now. His tummy's full. He's finished, finished eating. Bye bye, Teddy. Bye bye. Right, Ollie, please can you take off our talking game? We've finished our talking game. And next is our sticker. Would you like a sticker? Yes, please. <laughs> Find our stickers. Look. Stick it on your jumper. Brilliant, we've finished our sticker. Peel it off. Last thing to do. It's our goodbye song. You want to sing bye-bye? You ready? Bye -bye. Let's start with you. Bye-bye, Ollie. Bye-bye, Ollie. Bye-bye, Ollie. Bye-bye, Ollie. We're glad you came to play. Bye-bye, Caroline. Bye bye Caroline, bye bye Caroline, we're glad you came to play.